guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be talking through a bunch of brand new drugstore releases. Some of these I've been testing, some of these I have not tested yet and I wanted to go ahead and get them in front of you guys. So this is going to be like a mixture of a first impression and a review and I'll kind of walk you through which ones I've tested and then I'll be trying the ones that I have not yet. I know I usually post every Sunday and I did not post this past Sunday so this is a few days late. But for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, our house has been on the market and now we are getting ready to move. We're also still looking for a place to move, so doing a lot of home searching and it's just been a crazy, crazy week. So if I don't post regularly over the next month or so, it's probably because we are moving and I don't have somewhere to film. But I will keep you guys updated on Instagram, so if you don't follow me there, definitely check out my Instagram and I will be sure to let you know what my schedule will be. So the first product is something that I actually already have on my face and it's a product that I have been testing for about a week now and it's a skincare item. This is the Pacifica Vegan Collagen Everyday Lotion. This has an SPF of 30 as well as vegan collagen. It's also infused with hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, and flower extract, so it does have a scent uh, from the flower extracts but it is a natural scent. It's extremely moisturizing and it does not break me out at all on my sensitive skin. It leaves my face just looking kind of glowy, looking very healthy and radiant, and I definitely love using this on an everyday basis in the morning when I wake up. That said, I have found that makeup doesn't go on very well on top of it. I get a lot shinier, a lot faster with whatever foundation I'm wearing. So I've been mainly reaching for this on my no makeup days where I just wanna have an SPF all over my skin, really moisturize it, and do a lot of good things for it, which lately there's been a lot of no makeup days, so this has been a go-to for me. This packaging is absolutely beautiful. It feels really heavy, really luxurious, and there's a lot of different products in this line. And this has made me wanna check them all out. It is more expensive. This is, I believe, $19, but you're getting 1.7 fluid ounces, so you're almost getting double what the typical moisturizer provides, which is usually one fluid ounce. But this is a definite thumbs up, except for when I wear it under makeup. All right, I don't have a new concealer or foundation in this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I just went in with my L'Oreal True Match and my Maybelline Fit Me, two classics that never do me wrong. And I set underneath my eyes and around my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte. But I didn't put much powder on my cheek area for this next product. This is the new ColourPop Soul. I got this because a lot of people were saying that this might be a dupe for this super popular Chanel Tan de Soleil. Although I think they just rebranded that and called it something else. But it definitely looks like it in the packaging. I got the shade Medium Dark, unfortunately, because that was the only shade left. It was either that or light, um, but they were sold out of everything else. If I had had my choice, I would have gone with medium. So I'm just taking this on this BH Cosmetics number six brush from the Marble Luxe collection. I'm just gonna put this right on my cheek area, anywhere that I want to bronze, and just blend it out. I have used this a couple of times, and the first thing I noticed was Definitely the fragrance, because you guys know me and my fragrances. But this is super blendable, easy to blend in, and luckily it does sheer out quite a bit, so even though I have a shade that's a little bit too dark for me, I can sheer it out and make it a little bit less intense. And this is meant for the face and for the body. And I have to say this is probably the best cream bronzer from the drugstore that I have tried since the Sonia Kashuk one. I loved that stuff, but now that it's not available, I'm really glad that there's a drugstore alternative for a cream bronzer. And yeah, I feel like I like this even more than I did the first time I tried it, so another big thumbs up. This next product was not so much of a win. This is the new Revolution Beauty Gravitate Palette. It's a face palette. And online on Ulta's website, this looked so stunning. It looked like a dupe for Hourglass. But once I got it and actually felt the product, I was really disappointed. These feel really powdery. There's nothing creamy about them. And I was just not a big fan. I'm gonna try and apply a little bit of this bronzer right on top just to set this ColourPop bronzer. But I'm using an extremely light hand because like I said, it's really powdery and it has a tendency to kind of stick to your makeup. But I was really bummed because I love face palettes. I love a palette that 
covers blush, bronzer, and highlight because especially right now when I'm living really minimally, I'm trying to keep my makeup bag in my bathroom as small as possible so it's really easy to hide under the sink. And I was kind of banking on being able to use this, but unfortunately this one is a pass for me. All right, next up for blush, I got this new ColourPop blush. This is the Gummy More Super Shock Cheek Blush. This smells like candy. I'm trying to figure out what candy it smells like. It smells like a specific candy. Maybe it's Skittles, um, but it definitely has a strong smell. And I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics number no. 4 brush to apply this one. I've only used this once and I had a lot of trouble getting the pigment to show up, but I might have been using the wrong brush. So let me try this brush. Really get in there. Okay, there's some pigment. Definitely has a bit of a glow to it. Yeah, there's the pigment. I was using the wrong brush. If you've ever tried anything from their Super Shock collection, you know the consistency of it. They're really creamy feeling powders, and this feels the same. So if you're a fan of that type of formula, I would say these blushes are really pretty, but I don't feel like it's anything super innovative. Okay, for highlight, I got something from the new Revolution Pro line. This is the Luster Highlighter in the shade White Rose. First of all, the packaging on these is so pretty. It's like sparkly, and then when you open it, just look how beautiful that is. It's like an actual rose. It has a mirror. It just feels very luxurious, but it should. It's definitely priced higher than most drugstore products. This one is $15, so it's definitely on the pricey side, but the packaging looks like this is a $40 highlighter. So I'm gonna swirl my brush in. I have not tried this yet. And I'm using the Wet n Wild My Melody highlight. Wow, you guys see that? Definitely a lot of pigment. Wow. I love this like icy kind of color for the winter time. Just reminds me of like a winter wonderland. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is stunning. The formula on this compared to this one, this Gravitate by Revolution Beauty, there's definitely a reason why they call this Pro and they do not call this Pro. This feels a lot more high end. And then for brows, I got the XX Revolution brow in the shade soft brown and I was not expecting the packaging to be like this it's like a metal packaging I expected it to be plasticky like any other brow pencil I've ever tried but the packaging on this is really cool and it's only eight dollars it's not that much more expensive than other brow products at the drugstore and I've tried this one once as well and I was really happy with it especially with the shade so we'll see if I feel the same today yeah, this shade is absolutely perfect. If you have my skin color, or you just like really natural looking brow shades as a brunette, you don't want like a super dark espresso brown, this is perfect. It's very neutral. If it leans anyway, I would say it leans a tiny bit warm, but that's just because my brows are super ashy and it has a spoolie, love that. That is another one that's performing even better than I remember performing the first time. This is probably just gonna go straight into my makeup bag. All right, next up is another one from XX Revolution. This is their brow setting gel. Another example of gorgeous packaging. I got this in clear and I have been using this. I've been testing this quite a bit and when it first goes on, as you can see, it definitely puts your brows where you want them, but I haven't noticed my brows actually staying in place with this. It seems like after maybe even 30 minutes of doing my makeup, my brows are kind of back down. They usually point downward and it's not actually keeping them in place. So I love the packaging. It's $8, so it's reasonably priced, but I would pick the e.l.f. Wow Brow over this any day. Okay, for eyes, we have three different eyeshadow palettes. Two of them I've tested quite a bit and one of them I have not. So the one I haven't used is the one I'm gonna be using today. But the two that I have used, I highly recommend. The first is this LA Girl Break Eyeshadow Palette. This is $15, but you guys, it comes with so much product. Look at the pan sizes of these shadows and they are stunningly beautiful. It has a huge mirror and it feels like heavy and luxurious. You've got three different finishes in here. You've got matte shades, shimmer shades, and then these are almost like a foil finish. So they're super intense, super vibrant. Talk about a cohesive palette. This is just my thing. I love when I don't have to reach for another palette, especially when a palette is this big. You've got so many choices for transition shades. You've got your light setting color. You've got deepening shades. You've got shimmers. You've got glitters. You've got pops of color. You've got neutrals. And the quality of these shadows, you guys, is beyond. It's so blendable, so creamy. I would bet you anything that if you put this up against a high-end palette, 
and you just gave people the actual pans and they didn't know if it was high-end or not, people would not know the difference. This is a must-have palette in my opinion. Next up is the new Wet n Wild Coffee Chat. This is basically the same thing as the My Melody palette that I just reviewed, but these shades are just a lot more up my alley. This actually smells like coffee, so if that bothers you, just keep that in mind. The My Melody one, I believe it smelled more like candy or bubble gum, but this one smells like straight coffee. And the formula is exactly the same as the My Melody. The shimmers are stunning and pigmented. The mattes are super blendable and beautiful and this color palette is just perfect for fall again the packaging is not my favorite but you aren't paying a premium like you are for some other eyeshadow palettes because of the packaging so I would say this is probably the wet n wild eyeshadow palette that I've been most excited about in quite a while all right last but not least is the one that I'm actually going to be using today because I have not tried this and it is the revolution pro eyeshadow quad. I got mine in Wild Onyx and can we just take a minute to appreciate this packaging? It's like fur. This actually feels like fur and then rhinestones and it's all like a mirrored gold on the back and the sides. And then inside the palette are these four beautiful shades. They're all shimmery shades so don't love that. We're going to test this out and see how they perform. So I'm going to use this ColourPop brush and take this green shade. I think that's going to be the main shade that I use and whoa oh my gosh you guys i will take a picture of what just happened the fallout on this is terrible like i have this eyeshadow palette all over my desk right here from just that one tap let's see how it performs on the eye it's definitely a beautiful beautiful color i love this kind of khaki green shade i find shades like this make the best smoky eyes because you're not committing to like a straight black but you're getting that smoky look. Color is really pretty, but I wouldn't say this is the most creamy or blendable eyeshadow I've ever used, and it's definitely got a ton of fallout. All right, now I'm gonna take this silver shade right here on my pinky and just put a pop of that in the very center. That's really pretty. All right, next I'm gonna take this black shade on this Profusion pencil brush. The black shade doesn't have as bad a fallout as that green shade did. I'm just gonna take this on my lower lash line. And next I'm going to take this beautifully precise pencil brush and this white shade and put that in my inner corners. It's definitely not a color range or packaging you see every day, but would I buy this again given the state of my desk right now? I don't think I would. I don't see myself reaching for this again. I'm not excited about it and it's definitely on the pricey side. So unfortunately, that's a pass for me. All right, next up is this XX Revolution eyeliner pencil. I got mine in this like silver gunmetal shade and I have not tried this yet before. I'm just gonna line. I'm gonna warm it up on my hand a little bit because it doesn't seem to be gliding on very well. I don't know if it's the eyeshadow it's not wanting to blend on top of, but even on my hand, it's kind of dragging. It's not going on really creamy and pigmented like I would want out of an eyeliner. It almost seems like the same level of pigment as the brow product. And I don't love that because you kind of have to pull on that delicate eye area. And so at least first impression of this, I'm not a fan, but I'll keep you guys posted when I try it without any eyeshadow on. Right, next up is this Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. This is new from Wet n Wild. I've tried this once before and I wasn't super impressed, so let's give it another shot and see how it looks. Definitely a wand made for volumizing, and I just saw that L'Oreal launched a new mascara, so I'm really excited to try that because L'Oreal is usually my go-to when it comes to mascara. It's definitely not a mascara that like right out the gate gives you va va boom lashes. Just very natural looking, at least with the first couple of coats. It almost feels like a drier formula. It's not going on really wet, which can be a good thing for volume and curl because the wet mascaras can sometimes really weigh your lashes down. So it's definitely one you're gonna wanna layer if you like any sort of drama. But I do like that it's building and it's not getting clumpy. On my lower lash line, let my upper lash line dry just a little bit before I go in with another layer. All right, I'm gonna do one more layer I feel like that looks pretty nice. Maybe I judged this one a little too quickly, so I'm gonna keep playing around with that one. Okay, and then last but not least, I have two lip products. The first is the My Melody Coffee Cat. This is in the shade No FOMO, but it's F-O-A-M-O, so 
very cute. And I've used this quite a bit over the last week or so. I've actually kept this in my diaper bag, which is where I keep whatever lip gloss or whatever I want to throw on throughout the day to just freshen up. And this has been the one. I love the formula. It's not sticky or anything, and I love the color. So I'm gonna line my lips with this Flower Beauty lip liner in Toffee, which how ironic, I'm using Toffee with the coffee. And then now I'm just gonna go in with this. It's like a really pretty pink, but it's also kind of nudie, and it smells like coffee. I would prefer the smell of coffee over the smell of candy, personally. It's just a really pretty, wearable, feminine shade. I really, really like this color. And then the last lip product is this new lip balm by e.l.f. It's a ride or die lip balm. I got mine in Tough Cookie because it smells like cookie dough. And I've been using this either at night or on days when all I wanna do is wear this moisturizer everywhere and a lip balm. And my lips feel so healthy and so hydrated after wearing this for the day or wearing it for the night. And it's just a fun little treat that it has such cool scents. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know what products you wanna see reviewed next. I've already had several requests for the new Flower Beauty makeup, so that is definitely coming up. And thank you again for bearing with me. And sorry in advance if I am late on future uploads, but we've got some life changes going on here and I'll keep you guys posted on Instagram. But thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next one.